Oh! Oh! Whoa! Welcome back, everybody. Now, today I'm going back to my roots with an as seen on TV product review. This product is called Instahang. It's been around for a while, it's changed over the years, but I've given it a shot by request. That's today's video. Now, Instahang is kind of an interesting product. It's a corner shelf as seen on TV product. There's a lever that presses two sticky pads against the wall and holds it in place, supposedly. Now, I've been doing as seen on TV product reviews for about nine years now, and I knew it sounded familiar when people started requesting this earlier in 2020. I was familiar with the term Instahang, and I was familiar with the corner shelf, but it, it didn't occur to me that the name Instahang I remembered was not the same as the corner shelf I remembered. There was an Instahang out, actually it's out there, several years ago by Hampton Direct, which looked more like a nail gun, allowed you to put nails in the wall to hang pictures. There's been at least three different corner shelves over the last years before Instahang 2020 came out. Telebrands had one called Shelf Master, which was similar, but it used little nails that went in the wall, so it actually would damage the wall. Uh, there was also Insta Shelves, which I'm not sure who marketed that one, and I don't think that one ever got out of the test marketing phase. Then around 2016, Hampton Direct was back with one called Snap Up Shelves, which you can still find those on Amazon, as, at least as of this filming. And that one seems to be directly related to the modern Instahang. It looks almost the same, except for the new Instahang has a rotating shelf, and this one was a fixed kind of triangular shelf. Otherwise, the mechanism looks exactly the same on snap-up shelves versus the Instahang. What's also weird is if you go to the Hampton Direct website and click on Instahang, they show the original one, the nail hanging one, from, from many years ago. They don't have the one they're advertising now on their website. So in preparation for my Instahang video, I figured I'd go back and read some reviews of the snap-up shelf, which seems to be directly related to the Instahang, and the reviews for that one aren't, aren't very good. A lot of people were complaining that it would fall very quickly. So my first test, I just wanted to try up against a regular wall, which is something they show in the advertising. Nothing spectacular about that, and uh, it didn't go so well. I see they haven't got their retail packaging yet. I get the generic brown box right now. These are very rubbery feeling, which I guess would probably bode well for it sticking. Here's a handle you snap it in place with. Pretty cheap plastic. This rotates. I'm looking at the instructions, which are pretty straightforward, except for the hooks, which they don't really show, other than that, how they're supposed to look. So I'm just going to try to figure that out. Well, it looks like the hooks kind of go like that. It's kind of what it shows. Now this can supposedly hold up to 10 pounds, which I'll check out. Can also supposedly work in the shower, which I'll also check out. So that in mind, let's get started. They say it can stick on any surface. I've got a painted wall here and some tile down there, but I can try both of them. Also, when you put it on the wall, you're supposed to have it at a slight angle upward. Is that normal? That didn't sound right. Oh, what was that? It doesn't make the sound now. Man, that sounded bad. Okay, I had to consult the instructions. It does say that you're gonna have to push with a lot of pressure and you hear a loud snap. I didn't push it all the way forward though, so it doesn't say if it snaps before you're done pushing it forward. Let me try this one more time. Oh, come on. I'm not able to push this any more forward. I feel like I'm gonna break it. It's kind of in place. Let me try one more time. That's as far forward as it goes. That's it. It's not going any more forward than that. Let me start off kind of small with this bottle cleaner. It's staying, but I just don't feel comfortable with it. All right, that's the best I can do. I heard my snap. I'm pretty comfortable with this right now. I feel like I got a good grip. I'm gonna let this sit for like an hour and come back and see if it's still there. If it's not still there, I probably will hear it when it crashes. But come back an hour, see what happens. All right, well, after, uh, after three minutes it fell. Well, instead of wait for an hour, I guess I'll go to my next test, which I'm not very confident about. All right, I'm putting it back up here. I'm just gonna let this film. Last time was only a couple minutes. I got my camera rolling this time. Oh, didn't last three minutes. The carnage has begun. And there it is. I gotta, I gotta snap this back on now. It snaps back on like this. Well, unfortunately, I found that it doesn't damage walls. So I kind of played around with it and figured out how to make sure the lever was pushed all the way back because I knew if I didn't get it to do that, people would say I wasn't doing it right. So I made sure that it was pushed all the way back and it didn't help. Ah, it's back. It actually feels less secure now that it's all the way back. 
Here we go. I don't trust this at all. Don't trust it. I'm gonna wait right here because I have a feeling it's gonna fall. Will it last longer pushed all the way back? It doesn't feel like it's as sturdy, but we'll see. Oh! Whoa! Well, it's consistent at least. I think it's about how long it lasted last time. It's an utter failure. So, okay, so after that one failed, I wanted to try something else. Now, the original snap-up shelf was only advertised as something to use in the shower. It was basically called a shower shelf. So I thought the Instahang would probably be something to try out in the shower as well. And they do show the Instahang being used in the shower. So I tried it in the shower and uh, at first I was surprised. Do you guys think this is gonna be any better than the last time? Probably not. It feels pretty sturdy, but I said that last time too. Here we go. This is certainly under 10 pounds. Let's see what happens. Will it make it two minutes and 43 seconds like the first two times, or will it fail sooner than that? Will it go longer? What do you guys think? I know what I think. I think it's gonna fail. I wanna say I have no confidence in it, but I actually have a lot of confidence that it's going to fall. It's just a matter of how long. Well, it's been 11 minutes. It hasn't, hasn't been creaking or making any noises like it's gonna fall, so I, maybe this smooth surface just works better for it. And when I say smooth, I mean really smooth. This is a tile as opposed to a painted surface. So uh, I'm going to come back and see how it holds up. I'm going to come back in about half an hour. I still think it's going to fall, but it's surprised me so far. Maybe it'll keep surprising me. It's actually made it to the one hour mark. I'm a little bit surprised. So after the one hour mark, I figured it'd be a good chance to see how it fares actually with water on it, since that's what you're going to do when you're in the shower. And uh, that, didn't, that didn't bode so well for the Instahang. Check it out. But since this is supposed to be a shower test, let's put some water on there and see how it holds up with that. Let's see if that makes any difference in, the, uh, in how long it holds. Made in an hour, which is pretty impressive. I mean, of course, it's supposed to stay permanently, but an hour compared to two minutes and 45 seconds is pretty impressive. One hour, 11 minutes, and about eight minutes after the water went on there, gone. It fell! Honestly, it did better than I, than I anticipated in the shower, but that's not saying much. So at that point, that's it. I gave up. Not only that, but it broke. My ends to hang broke when it fell in the shower. So I, that concludes my test because I can't really do anything else. I guess I could still stick it somewhere, but the shelf is, itself is broken. But I, I, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I got the white flag out. I'm waving it. I've seen enough of the ends to hang. There aren't a lot of reviews out there yet for the 2020 version of ends to hang, and all of those seem to be uh, pretty mixed with a lot of people saying that it doesn't stay up very long either. So it's, it's not just me. At this point, I would usually go for pros and cons. I don't need to do that because the Instahang is an utter failure and I don't, I don't really have anything great to say about it. I'm sure there are people out there that can get it to work. I couldn't. Instahang needs to just hang it up as far as I'm concerned. Instahang it up. And before I wrap things up, how about a couple of questions? I got one from It's Flixy. It says, out of all the pans you've reviewed on this channel, which one is your favorite? That would be the Granite Rock, AKA the Granite Stone Pan, which I reviewed back in 2018. It's the one I use a lot. I do use the Hexclad quite a bit, even though the cleaning of it is a little bit more than I expected. The Hexclad's pretty good, but the Granite Stone slash Granite Rock is much cheaper and I use it quite a bit. In fact, Granite Stone's coming out with a new one called the, I think the Pro Series is what it's called. I'm planning on reviewing that one in coming weeks and hopefully it's as good or better than the original. Dustin asks, would you and have you ever received a product from a manufacturer for review? Well, I assume that you don't mean including the mail time videos where I, I do nothing but reviews of those kind of products. There's been a couple of instances, I would say of the 350 videos I've done, maybe five of them were sent to me. Usually it's because it's something that hasn't come out yet and I'm just getting an advanced copy. I tend not to do that because I don't want to feel obligated to give anybody a good review. There's been a few rare instances, but I typically try not to do that. Rachel wants to know the favorite place I've traveled so far. Well, I guess having been to Hawaii about 10 times, that's probably my favorite place. Every time it comes time to go to a, on vacation, I end up picking Hawaii almost every time. I love going to Australia. I can't wait to go back there. It's just so far. I mean, that's like 16, 17 hours on a plane, man. That's a, that's a long haul. I did like Australia a lot, but I keep going back to Hawaii and there's a reason for that. Zero Dark Forest asks, how do you feel about the products coming out lately? Do you feel inventors and companies are running out of ideas? I don't think they're running out of ideas. I do think that in the as seen on TV, industry as we've seen in this video there's a lot of recycling going on where they put out the same product or they put out uh, rebranded repackaged slightly retooled versions 
There's also a lot of inventors out there with a lot of bad ideas. They think it's something that's, that's going to be revolutionary and they're the only ones that think that. But there are, there are people out there that come up with some really interesting, some really cool ideas. Not all of them take. Not every great idea becomes a, a mainstream popular product. There's some great ideas out there that have failed. I do think there's an element to the, in, the world of inventors. They're more excited about being an inventor than actually putting out a great product because some of these products I've seen, not so great. You ever watch Shark Tank? There's a lot of strange things on there. But anyways, that's it guys. I appreciate you watching. Uh, this was kind of a short, fun video. It's nice to get back to the as seen on TV products for once in a while when they come out, which isn't too often these days. In fact, I got another one in the works uh, as well, so stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.